Hello, good afternoon and welcome to a, a somewhat cold West Sussex, but not too bad. I mean, it's not actually sunny, but it's not anything really. So that, that'll do me. It's not windy. It's not wet. So we can enjoy that. Uh, good afternoon to everybody who's here. And uh, just to prove I'm not on my own, there's Keith as well. You're definitely not on your own. And we've got spots of rain up here. Oh, really? Eight miles north of you. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. That'll be here before long then. Yep. And uh, oh, Good afternoon, everybody. So I've just, that's it. I've just muted that one. According to that, yep. we've got 14, 14 people in. Mm -hmm. So uh, welcome to the, the, the faithful few, but I'm sure there'll be more coming along. So today I'll put uh, Keith into the background. Yeah. Let him, let him enjoy his, his, his rest. <laughs> And today we're going to be um, turning, you'll never guess what we're going to be turning, because it's so unusual for us. Yeah, we're going a bit to be of oak, turning, is it? Turning, um, well, not quite. No, that oh. was last week. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, a bit of you, just for a change. It's a bit I have, I've had kicking about. I had, I'd already cut the mounting point on it for something else, and I can't remember what it was, so I shan't bother with that. But, um, but it's actually going to be, well, there's a clue as to what it's going to be. It's going to be a candle holder. So, without any further ado, I think we'll just get stuck in. Right. While you're getting cover stuck with... in, make sure you've got everything covered and just hidden. Covering the, but... covering the keyboard, yep. Yep, and I'll go down through to, the down, list. Down to my last computer now, so I've got to look after it. Yeah. yeah. I'll go through the list, if you like, mate. Or yes, you're, please. Uh, yeah, thank you. Getting yourself glassed up and everything else like that. Got your safety glasses. glasses on yet? No, not yet. No, you've reminded no, me. No, no. <laughs> so I shall do that now. All right. Well, we've got Peter Cochran, the first one in. Hi, Peter. Uh, Chris Dodds. Wood Wizardry by Colin. Robert Dolman. Lawrence Bagasia. been saying hello to themselves terry hooper hi mate hi terry brian watkins nick castle jay's cabin there's a name we don't often there's see in our chat not in our ones no that's very Welcome, nice to see Jay's. you clive rogerson Robert Dolman, uh, Nick Castle, if I mentioned you, I'm not sure. Mark Zinn, Mark the Gentleman. Hello, Mark. Uh, David J. He, Doug Miller. According to what I've got, I've read you all out. But if I missed any one of you, just drop your name in with an oi. And uh, you'll get a mention. Sounds quite a hard piece, Andy. It, uh, yeah, it's very dry, I think. Mm. So I'm only just getting into the heartwood. But yeah, no, that's that's going to be all right. I'm not sure I'll be able to do exactly the design I had in mind because uh, I may have to go too low, but we'll see.
That's better. I've got to speed up a bit now. Right. Let's have a look at that. That should be better. Yeah, much better finish. Good. It's got a bit of, bit of spotting down there. Little lump missing there. That'll soon go. That's going to be quite nice. As ever with you, really, isn't it? Mm. So uh, we've got uh, Jennifer's Craft and Creations joined us. Jennifer. Followed by Mike Yu from Illminster. Hello, Mike. And Paul Heighton, the Greasby Turner. Mm -hmm. Nice Grossly creeping in. It's very gratifying to hear all these familiar names. It is, yeah. Well, you've got 27 watching you at the moment. All right, well, that's, uh, that's jumped up. Yeah, that's good. Just wish the chat wouldn't go berserk at times. Tommy's workshop's in as well. Hello, Tommy. Always feeling good Jump. already doesn't jump one at a time it uh, jumps yeah. half a page or three quarters of a page yeah 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 Sorry. right okay i'll just, I'll just define where the bottom's going to be that'll do It's a bit of a nicer finish on there. And then start looking at what shape we're going to make it. Keith Golds. Hello, Keith. Hello, Keith. That's a name you're likely to remember. Yeah, um, <coughs> he's the guy that uh, donated the lathe that I took down to the Southampton Veterans the other oh, right. oh, Saturday. Right. Oh, very nice, very nice. <laughs> He's local to us. He's down on the coast somewhere. It's getting somewhere near. Acceptable. Yep. Good. That's all going to be changed anyway. Right, so the next thing I want to do is to drill a hole in the top because we're going to be putting a candle cup in there. I have two sorts. I have a aluminium one and a brass one. So I'm going to use the brass one because it's prettier. And just need to know what size hole to drill. They actually taper these, so it's the holes the, the size of the smallest bit, and then you clean it out. But the top is 23. The bottom is about 20. So I should think about 22 will be fine. And then I can just trim it a little to make it fit. So let's find my drill bits. A box you've seen before. Twenty mil, where is it? Twenty mil, there we are. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm simply putting that on, into the tail stock. Right, and we need to go. It's about 20 mil, I think. Nope, 15 mil. So 15 millimeters plus a bit.
it's actually 15 from there. So let's get that up to there. Okay. Ten, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, that should be fine. Oh, who put that camera there? Not the one we're on anyway. <clears throat> no, no, fortunately. No, it's the one with the funny colour. It's always in the way. What did I do with that? I've lost the cup. Pocket. No. No. No, they're in the back. Where's I put that then? I had it here. Because I showed it to you. Hmm. Didn't see which way it went. See if it's fallen down yeah, underneath. On, on the PC. No, not not that I can see. Take the cover off. Nope. Whoa. Now there's weird. Don't they talk amongst yourselves? That's ridiculous. Uh, Pete Cochran says it's behind you, mate. Oh, is it? Okay, fine. Okay, Pete, I'll have a look over there in a minute. It's that silly. I don't think I've even got another one. I think I've run out. Yeah, they're all smaller. Oh, there's one in its little bag. It's the last one. I must get some more of these. That's crazy. That's absolutely stupid. Anyway, that's oh, that's nowhere near deep enough. This one's deeper. Yeah, that's nearly 20 mil. It's very different. Same sort of diameter, but okay. We'll drill a little bit more then. There it is. I found it. The tail stop pushed it back out of my way. Oh, that holds ah. big. And we've got the uh, the world's favourite, Benjamin. Oh, hello, hello Ben. <laughs> hello, Ben. I'm going to use the bigger one because I've drilled the hole for it. there i'll just do a little recess for it to sit in because this one doesn't have a nice lip but the other one does so it doesn't want to be seen at all can you put us on end cam or back cam i can, I can. um no, not that that's, one that's that's me isn't it you don't want that one right let's reduce the light a bit that's better isn't it that's better Yep. Radio. No, no colour to it, but it's better. Yes. Don't can't have everything. <laughs> okay, Doug. Right. So we're cutting to Chris from Bailey Woodworks has crept in. Hello, Chris. We're cutting to there, so I should do that with poor, poor choices, choices. That one. I'm just going to trim a little bit off the end of this because I don't think it's running quite true. So we'll just get that stuff sorted out. Down a bit. Speed up a bit. <laughs> Should have done that first. 
So I'm slightly sloping that inwards, making a little concave so that it, um, if the wenny wax does run down, it doesn't go all over the place. So we'll do that. Redo that, a little recess. Put my headset on again. And we've got another Chris join us, Chris Glanville. Hello, mate. All right. Does that mean Katie works. has as well? Oh, is it work, right? No, he's at work. Right, let's see how that's looking. He's sitting in his little uh, dumper, I expect. Of course, we're not deep enough now. Okay, no, we'll get there in the end. A bloody great big bumblebee trying to get in through the uh, glass on the window. Oh, really? Now. Yeah. Don't care. He keeps headbutting it, trying to get in. Now, something stop. Oh, I see it's that. We've just got to chamfer that a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to do that with that. Andrew from Wivey's Woodsheds in. Hello, Andrew. Try that. That's better. That fits nicely. Now it just sits flush with the top. Screw down through the bottom at the end because there's a hole in the bottom of these. Mm -hmm. uh, which, whichever way the camera is pacing, not that way. That, that way the there it is. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a hole in the bottom of these just to fix them in. Which uh, makes life a little easier. Well, I think that's quite a good idea, in actual fact. Yeah, yeah. Particularly having to sell them. I mean, it's, uh, that's right. Yeah, you gu it's, you're guaranteed that they're in there when you sell them. Yeah, and you know it should stay in there, provided they don't do anything stupid. And if they do, it's down to them. Exactly. Yeah. All uh, right. So now then, we have to decide on a shape. I'll, look, I'll keep the small one in. So the top wants to be not much bigger than that recess in there. So let's start with that. I've, I have got a shape in my head. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'm avoiding curves just to be different. It'll be round that way, but this way I'm sort of thinking of going straight, back at straight, a little flat bit on the bottom, come back up to a big lump at the bottom, which will be cut sort of cubist and, 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 and just chamfer the bottom off a little bit. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we'll try it and so see. If, if everyone followed that, good. <laughs> yeah, you're a better man than I am. <laughs> yeah, you lost, lost me. I'm going to. <laughs> yeah, I'm really not at all sure. It's just something I I thought about in bed last night, so I thought I'll try it and see. There's no harm in trying, is there? But we usually do flowing curves on things, which is all very lovely. I just thought I'd try something different. The word that sprang to my mind was cubist. It probably isn't at all, but that's what sprang into my mind. And if we don't like it, we can change it. And Jamin's just put in, he's looking forward to it. He's going to a club meeting tomorrow. Well, right. unless we get hours changed, we'll be at club on Sunday. Yes, I've got, we've got one next Sunday, haven't we? Yeah. Have you missed the last one? I think I was in Scotland. Mm. I'm just going to support this a little bit. It's, it's vibrating at a tiny fraction. So I think I'll stick the... Um, that one should go in. That should help. 
Terry's put in a comment, question mark. If you don't try, you never know. No, absolutely. Fair enough. I could do drawings and things. I'd rather try it out on the timber. Right, I should leave that there and then I can chamfer the top a tiny bit. That would be lovely. you can get them from many places um, I think eBay at the, the last time I checked were the cheapest um, your candle inserts or Amazon oh, right. I, ha I had all sorts of, of trouble actually finding ones that I liked and I went mm. in the end to Folkestone Candles is it Folkestone or Suffolk Candles it's over that way anyway so it's one of those two either Suffolk or Folkestone Candles they have all sorts of supplies. So worth a worth a try. It's worth uh, googling it, I would say. Yeah, yeah. That was how I found it in the first place. Now that we need to know where the bottom of the candle, the hole is, don't we? Dum de dum dum, de dum dum dum, da -de -da -da somewhere there it is my little ruler woodworm paul's just joined us hello paul right so that's there so that's there so that if we mark that the mark will soon come off later that's the bottom of the the hole well, you've got a bit of pipping around there haven't you as well yes Branch yeah, and pipping, <laughs> and and a, a bit of a split, but I'm not too worried about that. But yes, we have round here, all the way round, basically, which is rather nice because that's going to stay. Mm. I'm not getting rid of that at all. It's no. just where I start to slope inwards, which is going to be about where that line is. So here we go then. Fraction below that. far enough and then it's a straight bit here you'll see what I mean about all the straight lines I'm going to be OCD about it and make them all straight lines and then when I sand it I ruin it so we've got a piece going on the bottom here which is going to be it really should be about a third shouldn't it it's, it seems to look better if you can cut it up into it's, it seems into to work, thirds or it? fifths. Yeah. Because yeah. that's yeah. going to be 170. So call it 180. That's 60 mil, isn't it? So that will bring the first third up to there. So that will be the stocky body bit, the heavier bit. And this could then slope into this. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do it. We can make that thinner if we want to. It doesn't matter. Sidley 61's joined. Hello, Sidley. So at the moment, the discussion seems to be on uh, the cost of club membership. With uh, I don't know what the others are. No. Uh, uh, say Clive's. Clive Rogerson's put in that they have Zoom and uh, in-person meetings, which seems to work. Well, Ayers have decided that we're going to be in person they're not doing zoom because we've got too many old farts that can't even turn the computer on yeah, yeah. Um, the other group the other group i belong to are doing zoom and it, yeah. it's very funny it really is very amusing because they, they don't have no idea <laughs> no but the the hall uh, won't let us in yet that's the problem with that one all right and i think it's being used for in for for the jabs Okay, Wizardry by Colin, that's not bad. I think mine's about the same. 
and five pound on the night. So every time you go, it costs you a fiver on top of the whatever. On top of it. What, yeah. What's the what's the annual membership? I think he said it was thirty, thirty-five. Can't. Re- Chat's gone. But yeah, because we're thirty. Thirty-five for the year, which isn't too bad. We're thirty. And thirty, and that's all we pay, isn't it? That's all we pay. Um, Thirty-five on the website. So um, we're all about the same sort of price, I think. Yeah, yeah, right um, sort of region. Did I see somebody who's saying fifty? Yeah. That's uh, close. Or BWR trying out a fifty pound a year model. All oh, right, okay. So they're not actually all doing demos. It yet. No, well, um, where we are and we have been for the past three, four, five years because we haven't been for one at least. We're thirty pound a year, and for mem- paid up members, that's all inclusive of the three, possibly four professional turners that we have. But if an outsider comes in, we charge them ten pound a head yeah. to we're, watch we're very a lucky. professional. We've got, we've got a waiting list, haven't we, of people um, waiting to join? So that does help. We've got a waiting list, but we've got ample room on the on Sorry? the membership to take them. We've got a waiting list, but we've got ample space on the uh, membership to take them. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's nice um, it's sort of full full membership, which means you can afford things, doesn't it? Yeah, Brian at Hartwood just joined us. Hi, Brian. Hello, Brian. This is in, in the nature of an experiment, Brian. I'm going cubic or trying straight sided. Yeah. Straight sided, Ick. Yes. That might be all right, you know. Yeah, um, Ben's okay. put in there, it depends on the size of the club, a small club. Is going to have to pay more each for the demos than a bigger That's club. Right. That's true, That's right, Ben. The demos um, cost the same, don't they? Yeah, yeah. The only difference is is uh, mileage that they charge you now. Um, so if you've got a local professional demonstrator, it's going to be cheaper than us getting the same demonstrator down south. Yeah. But having said that, we've got our membership cap is 120 and we're not far off of that. And we're very we lucky still... that we've got we've got members who are able to do demonstrations. Yes, as well. A number of us do, mm. and it's really nice. It's good because that's obviously you get it for nothing, then. So we we generally have three, if not four, professional turners in a year, and that's, that's right. Quite an expense, but uh, with a hundred and twenty membership. Or up to 120 membership, it's not too too bad. And Clive's put in that uh, the BWA is on a smaller side, about 55 members. Yeah, yeah. So um, you would be struggling a bit to get professional demonstrators in in person on a small. Or on a low membership, that's a terrible camera, Andy. It is, isn't it? I don't know why that's gone funny. Because it used to be all right. It's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, let's try that. I'm just trying to show the shape. That one's better. It's just a bit far away, but I can't, yeah. I can't zoom it. But um, that's the sort of shape I was after. I don't actually dislike that. Let's have some comments. See what people think of it. Shall I stop and take it out and show people? No, I'll leave it in there. We can see it. You can see it, can you? Good. Yeah, just just tip the lathe up, that's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, full of tricks. Uh, Malcolm Douglas has just joined us. Hello, Malcolm. Uh, so which one are we on? We're not on that one. We must be on that we're one. We're on that one, yeah. yeah. Okay. A uh, question from Clive's, is the base section slightly tapered or is it parallel? No, it is parallel. I was I was going for that parallel look. This is, that is, and that is. So the three straight bits are straight and are parallel. Um, and maybe it could be improved by, by tapering it. I don't know. 
or a thinner middle section. We could have a thinner bit there, yeah, quite easily. That wouldn't be a problem at all. In fact, it's, I might do that because it's looking a little bit clumsy, isn't it? Looks a bit gonna, chunky on the top, as I'm it is. Put a very, a very small chamfer on there, which is going to help this top end. I can't put much because I haven't got a lot of timber, but um, I will put a, a bit of a chamfer on there. And Terry Bartlett's just joined us from Plymouth. Hello, Terry. So the discussion is, guys, and it's down to you in the chat. Oh, what do you think Andy should do? This is keep very much shape. an experiment. Yeah, and keep the shape. Experiment. Change the shape. We've got Brian Watkins has put in Burton lines might look good. Yeah. It's an option. See what other options we get. There's that's that yeah. looks a bit better with that chamfer on the top there, doesn't it? Yes, lightens it's it up if, quite if you can see it. It's, yeah, it lightens that up a little bit. I can certainly make that slimmer in the middle there. I think it wants that weight at the bottom because Tom, you've got a candle on the sticking out the top. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest you drop <laughs> that at all. No, no. So return. where did you measure the third from? The bottom to the start from of the, the taper? The bottom to, uh, I can't remember now, 60 mil, wasn't it? Mm. It's to there. So okay, that... the only only thing that you could do to take a little bit of weight out of that would be to start the chamfer down lower by 10 mil. Mm -hmm. Yep, I could do that. This, this one here. That, yeah. Yeah, 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 could do that. So the third I, I is halfway up the slope. Yeah, I can't do anything much with this one because of the hole in the middle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, well, let's, well, let's try to take that down a bit then. Yeah, try that. Take it down. Clive Rogerson's doing his neck in trying to look sideways. Well, lay, <laughs> have a lay down, Clive. Yeah, have a lay down. Yeah, go on. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> And Sidley saying it's your piece. Go, go with your original design or whatever. Yeah, because this was, was what I had in mind. I can easily change the proportions a little bit. That's a part way towards it. Does that improve it? Mm. That's the question. Doesn't Slim detract from it. Yeah, slimmer midsection, I think. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take one more down. cut off here. To there. And we'll take that in to about there somewhere. Does that look reasonable? And Forking Owls has joined us. Long time no see. Sorry, oh, Forking Owls. Uh, uh, I can't remember his question name. No, no, <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. I've got a list yeah. somewhere here, but I don't know where it is. Sorry, FKO. Give me a clue. Is that Martin? No, someone's tell us. Someone's put in Martin <laughs> twice. Oh, Martin, oh, it could be Martin then. I really could can't be. remember. Yeah. Um, yes, Peter, as far as I'm concerned, the angles are the same. Um, they won't be exactly the same, but they're somewhere pretty pretty close. Done by eye. They're about as close to being the same as these are close to being parallel. <laughs> Does that help? <laughs> well, it's certainly looking lighter now. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't mind a stocky base. I've, I've got one of those myself. Mm. So I don't mind that. A little bit more. You've got to think safety as much as anything on something like With this. With candles you have, yes, absolutely. Too many fires start from candles. Right, 
but just tidy that up a little bit. Is that looking better? I think it is. I quite like that. It looks neater anyway, to me. Yeah. It's not yeah. quite this Forking, is this Forking isn't quite... is Martin. It is Martin. Oh hello Martin. <laughs> <laughs> he says pretending he knew all the time. Yeah. This is not quite the same. It's, it's not far away. That's better. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit off there. Just there. Yeah, that's better. A little tiny bit there. Glass break will take it off anyway, to be honest. But... Bit of 80 grit, yeah. Yeah. That's better. Oh, the they all feel nice. Calipers do work nice, don't they? Yes. Yeah, they do. It's the easiest way to tell, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's got that, Greg that Alexander's split. joined us. Hello, Greg. Oh, Greg. It's got that split up the top, which I can feel going around, but there's not much I can do about that. That's the way it is. Okay. You've got 37 in, and you've been running 36 minutes. And I've done it. <laughs> so for the second is, one. This is going to be another one. Somebody's going to say, you're going to do another one. You're going to do <laughs> a, a matching, matching <laughs> pair with both of them different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nearly matching. Pretend matching. Right, let's let's get some glass paper out and give this a a bit of a a swish over. Make it beautiful. How about that? I remembered. You remembered, yeah. It's vibrating a bit, but never mind. Got enough scope you could bring a tail stock up if you wanted to yeah it could do um i was just getting it out of the way really mm. oh hello what the earth was that i don't know but something fell over i think something fell off the, the extractor ah. it, tends to, it tends to work as a shelf in there Probably when you haven't got a lot of space, everything gets used, and it? Yeah, and I must admit, mine's the floor. Yeah. Ben Jamin's just a bit disappointed. He's just met, missed a, a Richard Finley demo. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Richard's brilliant. We've yes. had him down two, three times. I can say I've seen him, I think, yeah, yeah. That was when I was organising the Turners, and uh, he wanted somewhere to stay, stop out, sleep overnight, bed and breakfast. Yeah. So I got him in the local pub, which was good because I went down there and we had three or four beers between us. You were forced Each. to, weren't you? You didn't. I was want forced to. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't let him sit there and drink on his own. No, that would be rude, wouldn't it? <laughs> and it was in walking distance, so it wasn't too bad. <laughs> Right, get that out of the way. I will put this back up. It is. It's going to affect the accuracy of me sanding. That's better. And I've done the worst at the top. It's, it's at least it's the right shape now. Lovely jubbly. I shall put this through the ultimate test of the design when I've finished. Take, take it to take her it indoors. indoors. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> She'll soon tell me if she doesn't like it. If you don't like it, it go on the sales table, I know. Yeah, absolutely. It's something a bit different, that's all. 
when you're experimenting, there are things that are going to not work. It's Any the essence time. of, essence of yeah. experimenting, isn't it? Mm. And you've got to really finish it properly, otherwise it's not a fair, a fair test. So going back to clubs, which was an earlier conversation that was being had, um, like, like Andy and I say, we've got our club meeting this coming Sunday and uh, I'm one of the demonstrators down there to, for my sins and it's uh, Christmas oh, decorations. You're doing one this, this, this Sunday, yeah. I wasn't asked. Is it this Sunday? Yes, yeah, uh, the 4th. Yeah, the 4th, yeah. yeah. It's this Sunday, yeah. yeah. You weren't asked because you weren't there. No, I wasn't there. No, you're right. No, I did one the other no. day anyway. Yeah, so meeting, we're doing um, we're doing Christmas decorations. So there'll be the three little lathes out that we've got, so we can make a few shavings in the middle of the hall. Yeah, might might get some ideas. You never know. Mm. It's usually pretty good. Just a little bit concerned about the uh, new COVID rules that have come in. Yes, yeah, for a uh, council-owned uh, hall, um, are they going to uh, say sorry? But no. Yeah, that's always possible. Yeah. Be be wearing masks again, won't it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a few hecklers, Ben, but uh, that's not a problem. Give back as uh, good as you get most of the time. And there's usually uh, usually one or two that will back you up anyway. But that's what club life is, isn't it? Yeah, but we try not to. It's having fun <laughs> in a free atmosphere. Terry Hooper's almost also demoing with me. God, that's oh, okay. Yeah. I can, yeah, I can throw all the shavings over my shoulder at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, because obviously I miss the meetings. So I don't know who's doing what. Ah, it's the fifth on Saturday. That's right. So it was the fourth on Sunday. Uh, it's, it's the fifth on Sunday. It was the fourth on Saturday because we did have a uh, was it? provisional yeah. Yeah. demo line. Uh, so oh, that's right. Yeah, that's up. why I've got it yeah. in my head. Yeah, yeah it is yeah. the fifth. You're right. Yeah. Well, I should show the, the lid. Should yeah, I? we can see it just about. Can't read it. Can't read it, but. You, know, you can if you hold it still enough. Yeah. <laughs> No, I won't do that. I'm not supposed. To, oh, I've lost a bit. A little knot that's dropped out. Yeah, yeah, just there. A knot. Oh yeah. Nothing. Nothing I can do about it because I can't make it any no. deeper. So to cut that off. Not now. So. No. no, not now. It's got to stay as it is. And there's a question being put in there because you haven't written it on the tin. What have you forgotten? Oh, God, yes, you're absolutely right. I, really, I suppose I should write it on the tin. I thought, mm. I don't need to do that. I always <laughs> remember. I find it actually works quite well, even without it. It's a little on bit you, more work. it's not too bad, yeah. No, no, you, it's, you is great. But it's, it's just a little bit more work, that's all. It's, um, generally speaking, you don't even need to do extra coats or anything. It's... Just got to watch that your bit of paper or cloth doesn't get caught in that little nick now. Yes, yeah. It'll only take my finger with it, it'd be all right. You got another spare one on that hand anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Two or three there. Oh, Rex B's just woken up, but he's blaming it on the grandkids. Uh, good afternoon. What do you Rex. send to before using Yorkshire grit? Well, the uh, normal is 240. 
as a minimum, but you can go 320 if you wish. I've gone um, to 400 on this. Mm. That's just because it's habit, really. It doesn't matter because it'll just take over from where you got to. Yes, it just saves a little bit of uh, time on the on the Yorkshire grit. Yep. It's just it's just habit to to take it that far. Let's turn this noise off. That's better. I know you can't hear it, but I'm having a job to hear what Keith's saying, and I hang on his every word. Hmm. <laughs> Right, there we are. Let's give that a bit of a... So I suppose what I'm trying to say really with this is don't be afraid to experiment. At the end of the day, it's only a, only a bit of wood and it's not mm. cost you anything, that bit of wood, if I no, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. guess right. I mean, it'd be different if it was a 10, 15 pound... Uh, 14 yeah. inch blank or something yeah, yeah i'd be a bit dubious then i don't i don't know whether it came from you or somebody else this one because I've, mm. I've got you from all over the place but um right let's give out a little bit of this a little bit of this a little bit of that I'm going to give it a second coat of either this one or the Hampshire Sheen microcrystalline, mm -hmm. probably this one, to make up for not having done the certainly sanding sealant. This actually looks as though it's coming up quite nicely. It's quite a nice shine on it before you mm. went for yeah. the fine. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely timber to finish, isn't it? It really is. We love it. But we'll just put a little bit more on there, see what happens. Probably won't make any difference, but um, right. Yeah, but you've got some nice woods in the uh, in USA, Rex. Oh God, yes. You've got, uh, you've got some ma decent maples over there, which you know, we pay an earth for. A whole trench of tranche of, of of timbers that we haven't got access to. Mm. Yeah, each some country's really... got its own good stuff. Yeah, some of it's really quite special too, from what I've seen watching Hodge, mm. Robert Hodge Fudge. He gets some nice bits of timber, doesn't he? Oh yes, mind you, we haven't done too bad. But oh no, we've done very slightly, well. Slightly, slightly coarser grain on some of them. Yes, and Brian Watkins has put in there is. Isn't you a fabulous wood to finish? It is, Brian. Oh, absolutely and gorgeous, yeah. yeah. If you can't get a finish on you, you shouldn't really be wood turning. <laughs> no, no Several of us say, yeah. And that is a finish. I'll part it off. And then I can screw the cup in, and it's done. It's not bad. It's only 10 to 2, so we're... Plenty of time. Get that out of the way. That shouldn't be over there. I can go where it belongs. <clears throat> so, Martin, whereabouts are you at Forking Owls? Are you UK based? Got 
200 acrylic blanks last week. Martin's in Stafford in the UK. Oh, right, UK. Hmm. Yeah. You never know, do you? No. Um, Martin, drop me a message or an email or whatever, and uh, we can we'll chat. That is some beautiful you, and, of course, the master turner helps immensely. It's a comment from Rex B to yourself. I suppose it probably would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much, Rex. That's very kind. Just push a bit of wax out of the hole here. So Brian is saying they have plenty of olive and almond. I think um, I think that's almond, isn't it? You mean there, or is it almond? You've lost me, Brian. Sorry. Yeah, because Olive's not a desperately Olive. easy one to come by over here, is it? No. And Olive's one that I can't turn anyway myself. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. Because of the oil yeah. in it, yeah. Yeah. Martin, have a look at um, streamline kits rather than the slimline kits. They're a slightly heavier pen in the centre. They, I think they fit better in the hand of most people, but that is only my opinion. I like the slim lines, so Andy likes the slim lines. Yeah, so I'd give you an argument there. But you know, it's each to their own, isn't it? They're, yeah. Everybody likes yeah. different things, which is oh, I was right. As it I should did, be. Uh, I did correct that right. It is almond, so it's olive and almond that Brian's uh, got dead cheap. In the really? firewood yards, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, apart from screwing that in, there it is. So it's a little bit different. Mm. I actually quite like that. I don't. I don't mind it's... that. I wasn't at all sure. This is what no. I dreamt about in my sleep last night. But, it's um, a bit diablo quite... shaped, isn't it? It's it's yeah, it's it's different. It's all, yeah, and I don't mind different. I can't make the head any any slimmer, which would possibly have been nice if I did it for a smaller candle. I've got some smaller brass mm. cups in, in in there, which I could have done, but um, I don't know. I'd like that size candle. Where's it gone? I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> Talking the one yourselves. with the ex extra long wick. No, I've cut that off. I, <laughs> ah. I did actually cut it down. I've got two candles there without any wick. So you've got Sidley saying it looks quite quirky. And Clive quirky Rogerson said he likes the angular look. Thank you. I, that, that's what I was going for. Yeah, Doesn't and Ben Jamin has done his usual um, a candlestick mallet. Oh, here it is. Candlestick mallet. <laughs> yeah, what? thanks, Terry. We'll see you on Sunday, mate. Yep, both be there. That, that I need to just melt the end, but um, that's what it'll look like when it's done. Even upright, yeah. Yeah, even upright. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like that, yeah. About yeah. there. <laughs> but it doesn't quite fit the cup. It would have fitted the other aluminium one, I suspect. And Chris Dodds likes it as well. Yeah. Yes, it would have done. Mm. But hey, I didn't use that one. Thank you, Chris. So yes, that's 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 where we're where we're at. And I think cut down the candle. It was a twelve inch candle, but cut down to that size is quite nice. And I had to anyway because it was broken at that point. So <laughs> not a loss of choice, really. Mm. Um, but no, it's 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 lovely because it's made of you. To be honest, nearly anything you make of you is lovely. It's got some nice little spotting down the bottom there. Yeah, little pippy branches coming out. Pippy bits. Really nice. Bit of sapwood. 
<coughs> Excuse me. You've still got the little pips at the top as well. Yep. They're sort of, they're there. Yeah, there they are. Yeah. yeah. So it's got quite a lot of character to it. It has. And I shall see mm. how that sells next Saturday, the 11th. Brian, Brian's Saturday off. Saturday week. Thanks, Brian. <coughs> Thank you, Brian. Time for me to go to the shed. Yeah, yeah, every man should be in his shed. Robert Dolman says, certainly different, Andy. Yes, it is. It is. Mm. I don't mind different. I'm quite pleased it's different. Because we can all do the same. So, yeah. No, pleased with that. And I think that might even sell fairly readily. I've just got to sand the bottom um, and screw the, the cup in. But that'll take two minutes. It's not a problem. Good. Okay. Five to two. Just under yeah, the so hour. Just, just on the hour then. Yeah, mm -hmm. time we've uh, finished chatting to everyone. Yeah. Any questions for anybody? Well, Terry's been watching but couldn't chat. Hello, Terry. <sighs> Blow some of the shavings away. Oh, he's, he's, he's given you his full name on Facebook. Yeah. Gethson. Gethson, yep. Martin Eric Gethson. <laughs> you, uh, thank you, Colin. You did an awesome job. Spot one. Yeah. They has to, has to come out, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Did you have any time to go to the shed? Certainly different. I've read those. Are you on Facebook? Yep. Peter Corcoran, very nice. Thank you, Peter. Another lovely piece of view. Yeah, we've got to start turning something else. <laughs> Bottom heavy is always good, good for candle holders. You could drill out the center a bit so you could use it as a bud vase as well. I, it went through my mind last night in bed, but I didn't. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, but you could. You're quite right. Because it's not... It's not. I mean, if it was more curvy, it would be about the same same as the one I made last Tuesday, um, or similar. That was that was a bud vase. In you, a bit smaller than this. This is a bit taller. But uh, the pictures are on a, on Facebook of that finish, by the way. If anybody's interested in seeing it. Yeah, good. Oh, nice comments. Candlestick mm, yeah. stroke mallet. Yeah. Yeah. And somebody likes the angular look. Good. I'm glad somebody does because that means I might yeah. be able to sell it. <laughs> so, it's quirky. And quirky's good, I think. Yes, we can all do the same, but uh, they're ne never going to be exactly the same. So that one's totally no. different. Mm, that's right. Yeah, and, and yes, it's good to do something a bit different. It, it, mm. it stretches you as well as being some, something for other people to maybe take some ideas from. So, uh, because this is what we're doing it for is to show you different ways and different, slightly different styles and different designs that you may not have thought for yourself. No. We all have different ways of approaching a piece of timber and, 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 you know, how we think about it, what we do with it. It's all relevant to, to, to look at, get some ideas from it. And I've got, that's where I've got my ideas from, let's be honest. Mm. Watching people. At the club mostly because I wasn't involved with YouTube until relatively recently. No, no lockdown no. basically. No, lockdown is, brought this on for me. Yeah, it was about uh, two years, is it? something like that. Um, now. Yeah, two I years mean, in March, isn't it? I've I've done I've done I've done twelve months of lives as of last Tuesday, I think it was. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So I've, I've I was a long way on, behind. Long way yeah, behind. You, you were March, weren't you? Starting or something? Probably. Yeah. But, I really uh, don't. I'd have to look back at my mm. my first one still on there. The 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 rain, the water droplet bowl. Yeah. Uh, all of mine are on there. Mm. Yeah, that's still on there. So I could look at that and see when I started. That was my first one. That was. Uh, yeah, that was interesting. Quite scary. So sort of get used to it, and I enjoy it now. It's yeah, it's nice. It's more casual yes. now, isn't it? Martin saying, "Hollow the bottom and turn a lid for a secret box." That also went through my mind last night. But I've, it's, it's so long since I've done a box. I really must do a couple of them, and then I can demo one. But it's too long since I've done one, to be honest. And I just need to sort of refresh my memory a bit. But I will do that. I've done a number of them in the past, but it's all too long ago. 
and the brain's not what it used to be. Chunk of cherry. Mm. I've turned a little bit of cherry. I haven't turned a lot of cherry, but some cherry can be very nice. Others can be quite bland. I've found. Yep, yep. It's a bit like pear, isn't it? That can be very bland sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> you could keep matches or a lighter in it. You're quite right. That would work. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Self-contained candlestick. Yeah. Yeah. One-stop yeah. shop. Yeah. Chris Dodds is blaming lockdown. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's played to blame for an awful lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Nice but comment no, in there from uh, Nick Castle. I've learned a great deal from all of these lives. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nick. That, that, yeah. That really does make it worthwhile. So thank you. Mm. That's, that's, that means an awful lot. But. Uh, yeah, no, I've, I've, as I say, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm so almost so pleased we had lockdown because it, it got me doing it. I wouldn't have done it otherwise, almost certainly. No, you, um, say I bullied you a little bit, but I was bullied into it by someone else as well. So I need I need bullying. That's, that's all right. Yeah. I'm used to it. <laughs> I get it every day. <laughs> yeah. And she's not, she's not watching, so I'm all right. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, and it is just getting once you get into it, you soon get hooked, and it's I, I love doing it. It's great. It's 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 all of you lot in the chat make it worthwhile. That's what makes it worthwhile. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben's put in there. Are we signing up for WWOS? Um, I prob I won't be. I don't think. What's WWOS? Worldwide Association of Turners, is it or something? Or overseas turners, I'm not sure. I think that's what he's uh, on about. Yeah, it's not. Know. It's not. Is that the thing that? Um, is that what Martin Seven Smith's doing? Or is it the one that? that what's his name? The American guy. Um, yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Rob, Robert Hodgepodge's friend. Mm. Uh, Daniel. World Worldwide Online Symposium. Oh right. I don't know of that one. Is that the one that Stuart's um, promoting a bit? Stuart Farini. Is he? don't know. Um, he's been... I've missed that if he is, but... 40 demos, $69. All right. Hmm. Is it finding time, time to watch them all? But but yeah, we should do. I mean, we should support everybody else. We like to be supported ourselves. So. Well, yeah. I generally watch most people, but not necessarily on a live. No, no, you watch them afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so do lots of other people. I mean, I don't know how many people we've had in today. What does it say? Twenty nine at the moment. But that will be up to yeah, there was 36, 37. It'll be up to 200 or more, won't it? Fairly mm. quickly, because it always yeah, does. Soon, as soon as we sign off, it just uh, doubles. <clears throat> Somebody's suggesting a, some way of incorporating the angular shape, Brian's suggesting, to include a snuffer. <laughs> hmm. That would stretch the old brain cells a bit, wouldn't it? Little boxes, little boxes are always fun. Oh, there's a song there somewhere. Yep. Go for it. I will, Chris. I will go for it and I will do one. That's a promise. I'm just not going to put a date on it. But after Christmas is all I'll say because I've got so many more um, snowmen to make and, and, and baubles and things like that before mm. Christmas. So I keep selling out. So, uh, so Andy's on. Yeah, Andy's doing next Tuesday lunchtime again. <clears throat> I am. You've got the list in front of you. And I you're you're doing. Remind... You're... Sorry, where are we? The thirtieth, aren't we? The thirtieth so today. Be... So it should be rich tonight. Uh, on the seventh, which is next Tuesday, I'm doing lunchtime, and you're doing evening. I'm doing the evening one, yeah. And then on the ninth, we've got Thursday evening as well to cover for Scott, which I'm doing. And then twenty-first um, of December, we're both doing evening and lunchtime. And the 14th of December, I'm doing lunchtime. So I'm making up for all the ones I missed when I was on holiday. Yeah. Yeah, fortnight off and uh, yeah, I think you're getting away with it. It, it was <laughs> worth it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. 
lovely so it'd be cold up there now though <clears throat> it's turned a lot lot colder than it was mm. martin's suggesting a snowman box no after christmas <laughs> little boxes made of ticky tacky little boxes on the outside little boxes all the same that's the one ben i can't remember who sang it now um no i i recognize it but uh, it's a female i can i can picture her I was going to say New Seekers, but it wasn't. It was a, a female solo singer. But it doesn't matter. It's not mm. important. Good. Okay. Do. Well, I think we call it a day there. So a nice brief one, nice short one. It's only five past two. It's time to go and do something else with your afternoon. Something worthwhile. Oh, I've got to trip down the post office first before I do anything. You do. You know how to live, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then back in the workshop to uh, oh, ben Malvina Reynolds. Reynolds. Malvina Reynolds. I, I, I would don't even recognise the name, but you could no. well be right. It was one of these no. one hit wonders, I think. Mm. Yeah. And, and various other people sang it as well um, afterwards. Yeah, it's been covered by several people. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, thank you very much, everybody. See you next next Tuesday. Is the next next one, Tuesday it? lunchtime, so, yeah, next, yeah. Tuesday lunchtime for me and Tuesday evening for Keith. Yep, and, I uh, see there. We'll think, we'll think about what we're going to make. Come up with something devastating. Maybe or maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> there's, only, there's only a week uh, left. <laughs> yeah, yeah don't, don't want to overdo it, do we? I mean, you know, no. steady on. Because <laughs> yeah. I've got to make some more glasses with with wooden stems. I could I could do them as a live, couldn't I? I've done it before, but oh, you got some champagne flutes as well. You got you could do. I have, haven't I? Yes, they're over yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've got a couple of cut glass ones. I've got no idea how they'll cut. These I was given. Somebody didn't want them. I said, could you could you make any use of them? I thought I don't know. It's got a I mean, great big lump up there, but but. I could try. If it Might doesn't be able to incorporate it. that into the design, the same as what it is now. That's right. And bring it up underneath. Yeah, bring yeah. it up underneath it. Yeah, yeah. And cut, cut it off about there somewhere. So like yeah. I keep mine smallish. Yeah, because it's quite a thick stem that compared to some of them. But it's quite heavy glass as well. It's, yeah, if it's leaded glass, mm. the old lead glass, it, it might not yeah. cut quite so well. No, I mean that's that's what I don't know. I mean, well, it does given... it does cut because it's been ground. Yes, it has. Yes, and it mm. doesn't shatter obviously because it would have done if it was tough and glass that would have shattered. So, um, so I, I've been given them, so you know they're mine to do as I wish with. Mm. So I should try. I should try those one day. Well, I've got I've got somebody coming along next on the eleventh Saturday. The next next sale I've got who wants one of those. So I've got to make a glass for them. Hello. Why is it saying show? Oh, it's all right. I must have moved the mouse without realising. Mm. Hollow stem it and put lights in the bottom. <laughs> yeah, now he's now he's stretching it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's Martin again. That's a very nice It is a very nice glass. It's a very good quality glass. It rings beautifully. So it's genuine lead crystal, I think. Mm. But, um, so, yeah, I should, one day I should do something with it with them i've got two of them so good okay so i'm going to say goodbye to you all thank you very I'm much for coming along obviously and, say cheerio to everybody and i will put you up so oh no add to stream let's put let's try that ah there i am so you, can, so you can say goodbye and wave yeah i can say <laughs> bye-bye and wave <laughs> thanks everybody, bye, everybody. See, see you next see week. you see you next week yep lovely <laughs>